Okay. Um, this is for guys who haven't joined or just started doing RV transport. When you join these RV transporter groups on Facebook, if you haven't never done this, your first 20 questions that you have in your head, when you're accepted onto a page, please use the search bar. Do your homework. A lot of the guys who are experienced or older guys in this, they're not going to spoon feed you. They learn the hard way. Most of my advice that I have, that I give, I've either took the time to reach out to FMCSA, who's then diverted me to my state rep, FMCSA agent, and I've blown his phone up and blown his email up so much, I'm sure the guy's tired of talking to me. I don't give advice based off hearsay. I give advice based off what FMCSA states. Um, I haven't been recreationally pulling my camper to the lake for 34 years and then don't know that I can't pull a gooseneck without a CDL or a horse trailer without a CDL. Those people giving advice are giving bad advice because they don't know the commercial side of things. So, you're new to this, you get into the groups, please. You're going to get roasted for who's the best company, what's the best truck, do I have to log all my miles, can I log this miles, I heard this, I heard that, blah, 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 blah. At the top of every Facebook group is a search bar. Put your question in there, click enter. If it's been asked, it's been answered multiple times because I promise you haven't thought of an original question. There's been many before you. And read through every comment to every response to that question. There's no best truck out Don't Well, I say that. The only best truck there is is one that's paid for. Um... And stay away from the 6.0s and the 6.4 power strokes. They're fucking junk. There's a reason why those trucks are $12,000. Because it will put you in the poorhouse within a year. Uh, The first generation GMs. Them some bitches like to eat injectors. Later on in the second gen and so forth, they seem to have gotten a lot better. Um, From 2019 on, they're all CP 4.2s. They're all junk. They're all computer. They all got emissions. They're all shit. I don't give a hell. Anyway. So. Again. New people with new questions. Your new questions have been asked and answered many times. That's why you get a salty response when you put it up there. Older veteran guys are not opposed to helping you. But you got to help yourself as well. If you're not willing to help yourself, why should I help you? Think of it that way. It's not that we're being assholes or we're being rude or we're being mean or we're here to hurt feelings. It's that question has been asked so many times that a literally a simple search will yield you the answers that you seek. In today's day and age, you hold a device that literally will answer every question you have. Don't ask it on that question on that board. Now, if you got a legitimately a new, you know, question, you know, the one thing I don't see much is who carries a floor jack and who carries an electric impact. How many lug nuts will your impact remove and install before needing to use the second battery? That is a legit question right there. I've been doing this shit for eight years. I don't carry neither. I should. But I don't. You know. What would be a good height to build a little ramp to drive the trailer up on. So I don't have to use a hydraulic floor jack. I have a rapid jack. Works pretty well. You know. Little stuff like that. That's what the page is about 
is thinking outside the box or hey what do you do in this situation what do you do in that situation not who's the best company what's the best truck you can find that shit out on your own and using the form or the group page search bar click yields everything you need to know anyway getting close to that six minute mark y'all be safe